Hello friends, welcome back to AWS with Jamit. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate about how to set up SQS with Lambda function step-by-step -step guide uh, with hands-on demo. So let's get started. So first you need to sign up and log in with AWS console. And after you sign in into your AWS console, you need to search uh, SQS simple queue service. Once you open the SQS, uh, SQS is kind of like uh, queue services. Uh, where a producer can send a message to SQS and that will store those messages and consumer will pull those messages. Consumer are kind of like Lambda function or a other um, EC2 instance or other applications, right? Uh, so uh, the Lambda function can pull the messages from SQS that the main purpose is to um, like whenever heavy traffic or something, we, need, we are able to distribute uh, uh, the, uh, the messages, right? Uh, so you can uh, decouple the heavy processing uh, while storing the messages into uh, queue while processing the consumer. So that way you can um, like heavily decouple the producer and consumer workload uh, with this SQS. Okay. So let's get uh, first create a queue and that we will uh, 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 integrate with the Lambda function. So Lambda function can pull the messages we are sending into the queue. So first we are creating the SQS. So here when we are creating SQS, there are um, two types of SQS uh, standard or a FIFO. Standard is uh, like giving at least one deliver at least one uh, once a delivery uh, commitment and uh, and also it will be like there are no order preserve or guarantee on the standard case. If we need a uh, order guarantee, then we need to use FIFO kind of uh, SQS uh, that will give a first in first out mechanism and it will preserve the orders um, and exactly once uh, processing delivery. So these are two types of uh, queues. So for now we are um, giving a one uh, creating a one demo queue, right? Okay, so we are creating a, a demo SQS here, and uh, these are the different configuration like a visibility timeout. So this uh, visibility timeout is kind of like uh, that message received from queue. Uh, so say for example, when we send a message to queue, um, this visibility timeout said 30 second. It means like once uh, cons one consumer will pull this message um, until 30 second. Uh, if it take time for a 30 second to process, no other consumer will able to get this message. So this is a with visibility timeout. Uh, so uh, as soon as uh, one consumer get that message um, and if it take till 30 second to process it will be not visible to other uh, consumer and after 30 second if it is time out or something or not able to process then after 30 second will be visible to another consumer so this is kind of like visibility timeout um, there are message uh, retention period like uh, if the message after processing message not deleted it will be remain in the queue for uh, whatever set here retention period right uh, it will be one to uh, one minute to 14 days we are able to set anything so by default it is like four days uh, here and this visibility timeout is 30 second we are able to set uh, that also same way uh, delivery delay right delivery delay is kind of like uh, if we send a message to sqs and uh, consumer need a additional time to process it uh, we can say whatever the seconds or a uh, minutes we set here uh, like after that much of delay consumer will pull this ma those messages same way the maximum uh, message size uh, this is 256 kb maximum message size we are able to if we need a like more than this uh, size in that case we are also need to use some java library sqs extend, extended version uh, so that will allow us to process 2 gb kind of payload in, based on s3 storing into s3 so by default is 256 maximum message size receive message wait time um, this is a like kind of like uh, when uh, say for example lambda function calling sqs to pull the messages uh, whatever if we set here some seconds uh, then it will wait for that much of second uh, uh, in case any other message is coming and then batch all the messages together and then pull those messages so so this is like if you want to set some long polling uh, mechanism we are able to change this uh, instead of immediately returning the result to the lambda function while polling from sqs right so these are some different uh, configuration important configuration while we creating sqs these are other like uh, server side encryption and other we are keeping that default here are uh, this setting also we are keeping default like who can send message to this queue and who can receive message from this queue uh, we keeping owner uh, pol policy but we are we able to restrict with the account and i am role also those things these uh, uh, things also we are uh, keeping it uh, default by default like we are not creating any dead letter queue for now and we are able to set here tag uh, project basic if we want but for now we are just creating uh, this uh, queue uh, let us give uh, demo demo project we can say project name demo and we are creating okay so this is here we created uh, one uh, demo sqs uh, that we will hook up with the uh, lambda function so now i am going to uh, lambda function and uh, here we will create a one new lambda, lambda function is kind of like uh, uh, serverless compute uh, we, we we are able to run our code based on different runtime uh, without worrying about servers so serverless compute uh, function 
we are able to do that uh, run our code in any languages uh, okay so let's create a one function so when we are creating function we need to give function name we need to select the runtime either node.js python or another in this case we will use node.js uh, to um, pull messages from the uh, sqs and process those messages uh, we are we need to set a architecture uh, graviton based processor or a normal processor right and this execution role and other details um by like by default it will create a basic role so let, for now instead of creating from scratch i'm going to use some blueprint uh, so here we can uh, tell like sqs we can search sqs so it, it will already giving us one option process message in uh, sqs queue right so we, we are using this blueprint so here we will set a name uh, say for example aws with jamit demo lambda runtime is uh, for now this i am taking this blueprint uh, run uh, runtime right uh, this is node.js uh, architecture we are keeping whatever set in blueprint um, when we creating a like as when we are pulling messages from sqs we need to give a proper permission to the lambda function role by default like when we create a basic lambda function permission it will have a basic permission but if we need a additional permission like pulling messages from sqs in that case create a new role from aws policy template and here we are selecting uh, in policy template there are other options we are selecting here sqs polar permission right so it will give a special permission which is required to pull from sqs and uh, so let us give here uh, the name demo role for now and uh, yeah so here uh, we use uh, this blueprint right so it will have a auto added this code in the node.js so it will um, like uh, consoling the um, functions uh, and also handler handler will looping through the events uh, and it will get the message in sqs format in records and we are printing those messages to get idea like while polling we will see that in the logs right so and also here set a sqs trigger right uh, we are able to set a trigger like when we set a trigger um, it will uh, we, we are able to set a trigger so here selected sqs as a trigger uh, let us disable trigger this for now and we will enable that later batch size is 10 so it will get a 10 10 messages from sqs um, while uh, get those messages okay so uh, sqs trigger is selected let us select here q right we are setting up a trigger when this lambda function get pull, pull from which sqs so here we are selecting sqs trigger here we are passing this sqs which we created right so that sqs we already pass here uh, this trigger we are disabling we enable it later batch size we are setting 10 so that it will take a 10 10 messages from sqs okay batch window we are also able to uh, change if you want to change like if we need to uh, wait for um, gathering that much of uh, time uh, to get a more messages right uh, so these are different uh, setting we are keeping it default for now uh, and um, we are creating the lambda function so um, here uh, lambda function is getting created and once the lambda function getting created uh, we will verify um, you can see right our lambda function has been created uh, with the trigger uh, configured for sqs so if you see here um, this uh, new lambda function get created uh, and it will uh, uh, the link with sqs right so if you see sqs click on sqs it is showing like uh, whenever sqs called it will uh, link with lambda function so lambda function whenever we send a message to sqs this lambda function will pull those messages from sqs right so currently we have this uh, uh, sqs uh, linked which is we created with the uh, lambda function with the batch size of 10 and um, this lambda function will get those messages okay so if we see in the monitoring we are able to see the cloud watch logs here like um, whether any invocation happen any error happen uh, is there any um, logs are uh, get created for calling this lambda or not right so those we are able to currently know any logs created because lambda function get not called at so now um, also there are in role there is a permission assigned right if we see this role that created so this role is kind of like um, lambda function role uh, which is uh, uh, created uh, which is which will have a special permission right um, that allow lambda function to call um, uh, so these are the basic permission needed for log group creation and uh, getting a messages from a uh, uh, log group right put a messages into log group so these are the default permission required and apart from this additional permission sqs right so it is need needed a allow uh, delete messages uh, get uh, queue, uh, uh, sqs delete message get queue attributes get receive messages so this kind of special permission required um uh, and uh, always better to give a less permission here but uh, this is just demo perspective right uh, so these are additional permission required for a lambda function role while we are pulling messages from sqs apart from this basic permission are log group and um, log, log group related permission we need this additional sqs permission okay otherwise it will not able to fetch uh, it um, from the sqs so now we created a lambda function and we have hook up the sqs with the lambda function trigger right so here we are able to add additional we are able to add additional triggers also and there are a lot of triggers supported here we added like sql trigger and we selected this right and we added that so that way so here we added this already and we keep it this disable this we will enable later so now we are going back to sqs and we will send some messages there right so we can verify this uh end to end things so this is sqs 
and uh, send uh, we are sending some messages uh, to this queue okay so um, if we see here in monitoring it will show the statistic uh, different statistic regarding the messages so let us send message message one we are sending here okay send message uh, has been sent and is ready to receive right it is showing some message available it is showing how many message available in the queue so currently one message available let us send another message message two so here we send uh, there are two messages available right so it is showing like there are two messages available currently in the queue so um, that way we are able to see like how many messages are currently in the queue right if we do send and receive it is showing message available two messages are currently in the queue now uh, let us go to the lambda function still there are two messages remaining as it is right because uh, we that those are still not processed by lambda function so now let us um, uh, this sqs having a polling by this lambda function right uh, still uh, there are no any invocation happen uh, to this lambda function um, we can't see anything invoked at right uh, so now let us enable those um, triggers so let us enable this sqs trigger which is currently disabled so it will auto start uh, processing those messages so let us activate this trigger with the 10 batch size so now it is enabling right uh, so as soon as uh, it enable it will start processing those messages so you can see now this trigger is enabled uh, so this sqs trigger enable so this lambda function will pull whatever message is sent to sqs and it will process those messages so now if we see here we, we see like message available to right it will be become zero uh, once it is get processed so you can see now it is showing zero because those messages already get processed now if we go to the monitoring and in invocation um, uh, we should uh, like in, in locks we should get those uh, statistic uh, right uh, and locks like messages get processed so you can see right this new locks are getting generated and here we see those um, load loading function and then here we see like message one um, were processed and um, another uh, uh, this one message uh, processed here we see like um, lambda function loading and then uh, here we have a message to process right so those two messages are get processed uh, 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 and uh, now if we send more messages it will uh, process those more messages so let us see send a message three and message four right so this you can see right directly like mostly started uh, pulling those messages so mostly if we do send and receive it is showing zero right because it is immediately go on the process so if we uh, see in the cloud watch now we will see more logs uh, because we send uh, two more messages in the sqs and those messages are getting into process in the lambda function code uh, so in code we have already like um, this kind of code right um, the event whenever any sqs trigger sqs will sending here event and those event having this format like records and those records we are getting message id and body and those we are printing sqs messages id and their body right and uh, successfully processed uh, those length we are printing so those things will show in here in the cloud watch logs so if we see the logs recently we see more the we see more logs right message three so here we see um, this uh, message three get processed, message uh, four get also processed, right? So that way um, uh, SQS message and uh, this ID and then message four, right? So same as our code, SQS message, message ID and that uh, body part, uh, which is um, we see like a message, which is the message means body, right? So this uh, this kind of uh, trigger we are able to set. So there are this, uh, how we understand about like event dot record, what kind of format we receive. That will be like uh, say for example when you are testing something you will see here all the different kind of events so if you select if you go to the test section uh, here you are able to see the events right if you select here uh, api gateway or if you see it select here sqs uh, when you get a message from sqs to lambda function you will receive a message in this format right even it will be a json format this kind of format and under the records you will get all the messages and inside the body you will have actual message right so that is why we are looping around event dot records and then we are getting body right so if you see the code we have a load function and then event and event records and then we are getting those bodies right that are those are messages and we are printing here so that way uh, like as soon as we are sending messages to sqs uh, those messages get pulled by lambda function and um, trigger the handler function and handler function looping around those events or records and printing or processing those messages okay so this is the way uh, we are able to um, process uh, the uh, uh, sqs and we are also having like different setting we are able to do at lambda level for concurrency and many other things um, right uh, but uh, yeah this is the exit uh, mechanism about how sqs um, uh, we are able to create and how we can uh, set up sqs with the lambda function polling to process those sqs messages so thank you for um, uh, watching uh, please uh, let me know in the comment uh, what is your feedback what kind of uh, what kind of other tutorials you are looking for please like share and subscribe uh, uh, my channel for more about um, cloud and aws relevant content